What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today I want to fill you guys in on all the details regarding the brand new Tech Beerus Extreme Z Awakening as well as the Int Perfect Tail Extreme Z Awakening. Now both of these units look like they're going to be very very solid after these awakenings and uh, why don't we just jump right into it starting with the Extreme Z battle event for the new Beerus. So here we are on the Dokkan wiki. Let's just scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, basically with every level, it's pretty standard. You're gonna be getting medals for Beerus, as well as tech orbs, some tech Kai's as well, and also one stone for every level up to level 30. Now, in total, once you're done all 30 levels, you can expect to get 30 Dragon Stones, which is a good amount. I'm always happy to see that. 11 tech Grand Kai's, enough tech orbs to completely rainbow a tech unit from 0% to 100%. I guess that's already given in the rainbow statements. But you know what, you guys, yo, I'm just trying to make sure everyone is on the same page. So 0% to 100% and also have some orbs left over. So a crap ton of orbs and also enough medals to fully extreme Z awaken the Beerus. Now let's see if there's any additional information that can help us out here. Event restrictions, you are unable to use Dragonstone to revive or continue. Uh, the stages cost zero stamina until you beat them. After that, they cost damage to replay. You cannot bring any items. And the damage threshold of 2 million for SSR characters starting from level 10 means that Devilman will no longer be able to instantly kill the boss with his lethal passive skill should it activate. So, I actually didn't play the Kid Buu EZA where they instituted this initially, but it looks like this is going to be a thing for the foreseeable future and probably for all future Extreme Z battles. They don't want people to be bring, bringing Devilman and nuking these event bosses. I'm not really sure why, I guess they just want people to be summoning for these new characters or new... I mean, it doesn't even make sense here because if you move down a little bit, you can see that Beerus is not weak to any category. So, I mean, before it's like, okay, I get it, you want them to summon for the new category leader or whatever category leader and units they need to build that category to beat the event. But for this one, there isn't even a category weakness. So, I don't get it. I think this just lets people let people use Devilman. I'm gonna probably say this in every single Extreme Z battle overview video that I make, and it's probably not gonna do anything. But yo, I just gotta speak my mind. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, you guys can't nuke the event with Devilman past level 10. And of course, like I just said, Beerus isn't weak to any category. So I believe this is the first Extreme Z battle that has no category weakness. In the past, I believe they've all had some kind of weakness, whether it be resurrected warriors or uh, movie bosses or whatever. He also does not have any additional damage reduction against super extreme types. And your best bet against him, since he is a tech type, would be an int type team. Super int is like super, super strong, guys. No pun intended. It's a very strong team. You know, you got things like LR Vegito, you got things like Int Gogeta, LR Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, etc, etc. So if you have a good Super Int team, you should breeze through this with no issues. You don't want to be bringing um, AGL, Tech, and SDR types since he does have a ton of damage reduction against those types. 80% past level 20, so stay away from those. Alright, moving along. Um, you get, by replaying certain levels, checkpoints, you get additional uh, rewards, so more medals for Beerus. And for missions, you get one stone for winning Extreme Z battle, this Extreme Z battle, with two with, within two minutes and 30 seconds at level 10 or higher. You get two stones for winning Extreme Z battle at level 20 or higher within four minutes and 20 seconds. And also for winning the Extreme Z battle at level 20 or higher with a character from the Realm of Gods category on your team, which Beerus is in. Then you also get one stone for a total of four stones for missions, plus 30 for clearing for a total of 34 stones from this whole Extreme Z battle event. So there you have it, guys. Um, looks like it shouldn't be too hard if you have a good int team. Otherwise, you might struggle a little bit with other types. And um, if you have a good category team, it might be worth a shot as well. I mean, he doesn't have any weak categories, but there are obviously a lot of strong categories out there that you can bring to take your crack or uh, take a shot at this event and try to Extreme Z Awaken the Beerus. And I would recommend it, guys, because he looks very, very good. Now, let's jump over to the actual unit itself and see uh, what kind of changes they made from the original to the new Extreme Z Awaken version, all right? 
So here he is, his max level went up from 120 to 140. His old leader skill was tech types attack plus 80%, and now it's tech types at key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, which is the exact same leader skill as LR Goku Black, which is very good. I mean, it's not on the same level as some of these newer leader skills that are like 150%, 120%, but... 90% plus 3 key for all tech types is an excellent leader skill and he will be a very good leader for some of you who are missing a good tech leader like, you know, SSJ3 Broly or SSJ3 Angel Goku, okay? For his super attack, it went from supreme damage to enemy and lowers defense, now it causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And for his passive, it's now uh, went from attack plus 60% at the start of turn, which is very mediocre. Rage only once when HP is equal or less than 30%. Um, so that was a bit hard to get off for sure. And 60% is just very low by today's standards. Now it's attack and defense plus 80% at the start of turn, plus an additional 40% for 4 turns after receiving attack. And I believe that does not stack, so you can't keep getting hit and keep getting 40%. Um, like a, you know, on top of that, but I believe that it can activate again once the four turns are up But look at that guys it went from 60% attack to 80% attack and also an additional 80% defense for some of that tanking and Additional 40% attack for getting hit and I believe that 40% attack actually is calculated separately from the 80% So it's gonna be an even bigger boost than that which we will see in a second down below in the additional notes and rage when HP is 40% or below, so a little bit of a like an easier restriction. And it can happen up to two times. So it can rage up to two times now as opposed to once. His links all stay the same, his categories stay the same, Realm of Gods, movie bosses. And here are his stats. No, so these are his old max stats before the Extreme Z Awakening, and here are his new max stats. And look look at that attack, man. Almost 20,000 attack. Um, super high defense, really high. Uh, HP as well Very solid solid stats like those stats are amazing. Those, those are some really good stats can't be um, Upset about that for his key multiplier it's gonna be 140% 12 key multiplier his super attack goes up to 15 after extreme Z awakening um, After extreme Z awakening his animations will slightly change but he'll work as a normal unit Okay, his additional okay. This is what we're looking for Attack plus 40% for 4 turns after receiving an attack is calculated separately for a total boost of 152% and like I said it can activate again upon receiving another attack so I don't, I'm 99% sure it doesn't mean he can keep getting 40% but, or like, he can't get like 40%, 80%, 120%, 160%, etc. But I believe what it means is that after the, four, after the four turns run out, he can get hit again and have it proc again. So, you can basically consistently have him be at 152% attack at all times, which is really high, and considering how high his attack stat is, um, and he gets immense damage, he's gonna be hitting very hard, guys, alright? Um, here's his rage mode now, let's take a look at what they changed here. So. He has a different super attacks in rage mode at every key interval. So 1 to 7 key is power flick. It, was, it went from extreme damage to supreme damage. Cataclysmic orb is 8 to 11 key. So it went from supreme damage to greatly raises attack for one turn, which is a 50% increase. And supreme damage to enemy. Okay. And for his 12 key, God of Destruction's Edict, it causes immense damage to enemy. Uh, and uh, high chance to stun the enemy and now in its in its new extreme Z awakening mode it causes immense damage and stuns the enemy for a 100% chance to stun it just stuns the enemy there's no high chance there's no medium chance there's no great chance it's a 100% chance to stun which is fantastic if only some of the newer bosses would be susceptible to stun so it's not going to be too effective on some of the newer events that are immune to stun so this is his rage mode attack stat at um, so this oh this is what it, what it was before and then after extreme Z awakening it goes up to a maximum of almost thirty thousand and let's see what else in rage mode he will only lock super attacks and take no damage okay so he's impervious completely immortal in rage mode high chance to stun is fifty percent before extreme Z awakening and after extreme Z awakening it's a hundred percent chance and super attack needs to be at least fourteen interesting okay so I didn't know that but. Um, to activate this, I guess, 
100% chance to stun, you have to have a super attack of 14 or 15. And greatly resist attack for one turn is 50% to a SA multiplier, and it lasts one turn. So it is a very OP mode. Of course, he does a lot of damage. He has a guaranteed chance to stun at 12 key, and also um, he he has he just takes no damage, right? Is that, did I already say that? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's a very strong mode, of course. But the good thing is that you can activate it twice now, so we can. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be really, really good. He's gonna be fantastic before his rage mode with the new Extreme Z Awakening with this new passive, the new uh, damage multiplier, and then after he becomes, he goes into rage mode, he's gonna be a guaranteed stun at 12k, and uh, it's just looking like a really good, really good unit, man. I don't know what else to say. If you guys are on JP and um, have the means to get the medals and have this unit, I would definitely recommend investing orbs into him. I would recommend fully extreme Z awakening him, and I'm sure he's gonna do some awesome things for you. For me personally, I'm main global, so he's not gonna be here for a little while, but once he does, I can rainbow him ASAP. I'm gonna give him all the orbs, gonna get it all done, and uh, I, I can't wait to test him out, because I know he's gonna hit like an absolute monster truck. Okay, let's move on to the int perfect cell now. And uh, this one is a non Dokkan Fest unit, so it's not going to be as hype, not as strong, but I'm sure it's going to be quite improved, like by quite a bit. His leader skill is attack all types plus 30% attack, and his new leader skill is all types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. And there's this very happy wo looking woman on the side of the screen here, I just noticed. <laughs> it's just so totally random, but uh, she looks super happy with her new haircut. I'm, I'm happy for her. And uh, let's move down here. Super attack is Solar Kamehameha. Causes supreme damage to enemy. Uh, was the old passive or old super attack. And his new super attack is greatly raises attack 50% to SA multiplier and causes supreme damage to enemy. Okay. As for his passive, it went from 40% to attack and defense at the start of turn to 90% for both attack and defense and recovers 20% HP whenever HP is 30% or below, and I believe this can happen over and over again. So every time he pops up on rotation and your HP is 30% or below, you recover 20% HP. So fantastic, really good healing, as well as quite a strong um, attack and defense boost as well. His links stay the same, of course. Four categories, Resurrect Warriors, Full Power, Androids, Enhanced Transformation, Old max stats and new max stats, 15,000 attack, uh, almost 17,000 HP, almost 12,000 defense. Very, very good, especially considering he's not a Dokkan Fest unit. Um, and one thing you'll notice for non Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakenings, like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the SDR, one, the SDR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, is that he gets Supreme Damage Multiplier as opposed to the Immense Damage Multiplier, and I think they're going to keep that for all non Dokkan Fest um, Extreme Z Awakenings, which is unfortunate, but understandable. Okay. What else is there that we don't know already? Nothing, really. Uh, everything else here is pretty standard. Uh, this guy's gonna be really strong. <laughs> He's gonna be really strong too. Much better than before. And if you need a, another unit to throw on your extreme int team, yo, he, he is a great choice, guys. And uh, he also, oh, of course, he also awakens, Extreme Z awakens from the tech uh, sell Extreme Z battle event, and this is an older event, so I'm not going to go through all of it like I did with the Tech Beerus one, since that's a new one, but if you guys want to go check it out, um, you can find it on the Dokkan Wiki, just Google uh, Perfect Cell Extreme Z battle and you'll find everything there, so I'll leave that up to you guys, but these are the medals you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken in Perfect Cell, uh, Extreme Z Awaken in, is it, did I say int? In Perfect Cell, yeah, in Perfect Cell, and uh, yeah, go do it if you're on JP, man. You guys are lucky. I have, we global players have to wait, and that's, I mean, that's one of my main complaints about global, but at the same time, I'm so invested here, and I'm just loyal to the community, so I'm gonna stick to my global roots, but yo, know, I, I love both versions. No hate, there's no really competition in my mind. Like, it doesn't really matter. You can play which version you want, but I'm going on a tangent, guys. <laughs> that is all the information I have for you guys today. Extreme Z Awakening for Beerus and for Imperfect Cell. They're both awesome units. Go awaken them if you can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it useful. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me today, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.